Post-Aristotle Greek Philosophy, Part 5, Stoicism, Professor Michael Botwin, Department of Psychology, California State University, Fresno. Hi, welcome back. This time out we're going to talk about the Stoics, and we will do it very unemotionally. Very bad Stoic joke, sorry. Now, the Stoics were founded by someone we've talked about before, Zeno. And you might remember him for his paradox. Now, the Stoics believed the world was ruled by a divine plan. And everyone and everything was in that divine plan you had absolutely no ability to change that divine plan. Hence, the best thing for you to do was to accept your place in the world and be the best at that spot as you possibly can be. So, there's a stoic system, no social mobility. Uh, if you are born a slave, you're destined to be a slave for your entire life. And you should just be the best slave that you can be. By the same token, you don't have the choice to have been born emperor of Rome. And if you were born emperor of Rome, you should accept that position and be the best emperor you possibly can be. Now, you can imagine the Romans with their reliance on bureaucracy and their rigid caste systems of how the world worked love Stoicism. Uh, at one point in time, there were significantly more slaves in Rome than Romans. And if you take this into consideration, if everybody is happy in their spot, you don't get a slave rebellion. So, everything is in the Stoic's divine plan, and you should just be accepting of your place in society. I don't personally agree with that one, but that's what the Stoics are saying here. Also, they say possessions are unimportant, and you shouldn't rely on having them, or you shouldn't covet them, because possessions can be lost, stolen, taken away in some way. And if a possession represents a large part of your personal identity and it's gone, well, you have a big hole there. So what did the Stoics really value? It was virtue. For them, being a virtuous, good person, knowing your place, don't forget is the key to being a good Stoic. There's a famous saying about Stoics. Let me impart it to you as we leave our discussion of them. And it's simply, a Stoic is. Stoics were unemotional. They were rigid. Nothing bothered them. They didn't get upset about anything. Or of course, they didn't get happy about anything either because they were basically working hard to be emotionless. Yes, if you want to make the Mr. Spock analogy, you can go for it. So, these are our Stoic philosophers. We'll move on to ideas influenced by religion in the next episode of the history of psychology. See you then.
This has been a We Have Couches video production. Copyright 2020. Professor Michael Botwin. All rights reserved.